Yamaha Motor sought to create a sporty bike different from anything else before it and to offer a ride unlike anyone had ever experienced. It was to be massively torquey for fun on the go, but also boast sporty handling. The result was the MT-01, a mega-torque naked bike powered by an air-cooled 1700cc V-twin. Its unveiling in 1999 at the Tokyo Motor Show turned heads worldwide. We thought a bike that basically had the user riding on top of a big V-twin would be fun. The power stroke from each combustion cycle would tangibly drive the rear tyre and we would relay that sensation of power to the rider. We didn't want to make a super stiff frame because a sporty roadster needs just the right degree of flex. The MT-01 was designed trying to emphasize as well as respect the engine while subduing other elements as much as possible. For the MT logo, we were inspired by medieval runes from Scandinavia and the image of an iron hammer to express the engine's torque and pulse. The MT-03 later appeared in 2006 with a 660cc big single. It carried on the same concepts as its predecessor, with a design, talky ride and agile handling meant to stimulate the rider's senses. However, it would not be until 2013 that a model featuring all of these elements would appear once again. In developing the MT-09, we wanted to offer performance that would really hit the senses for a wide range of riders. We carefully considered the torque delivery, sound and pulse of the engine, and more. A triple has the advantages of both a twin and a four-cylinder engine, with lots of torque down low, but still giving great pull at high revs. The shape of the frame affects chassis flex, so we can't just design something while ignoring functionality. New engine. Unlike with the MT-01, the design and styling focus not on the engine, but on the bike's new riding position. The concept for the first MT-09 was torquey and agile, and accordingly, the bike's agile torque-laden ride and standout design and styling gave it a striking debut. In releasing the new machine to the market, Europe created a massive campaign for the launch entitled The Dark Side of Japan, and the double punch of the bike's sensory stimulating performance and the imagery of ruling the nighttime streets wholly resonated with riders. For the new MT-09, we raised the engine's displacement to produce an even torquier punch. We also spent a lot of time and effort on the intake and exhaust sounds and tuned the systems to not only produce raw volume, but also to deliver a quality sound as well. In 2014, the all-new MT-07 made its debut, developed alongside the MT-09 like a friendly sibling rivalry. Its revolutionary CP2 parallel twin engine features a 270-degree crankshaft based on Yamaha's cross-plane concept, allowing the rider to feel the power plant's combustion torque more directly. With both high performance and affordability, the MT-07's CP2 engine became a cornerstone of Yamaha's motorcycle lineup. Based on the parts and components from the YZF R1, the MT-10 took the torquey and agile concept to the maximum as the series flagship. We wanted the MT series to also have its own flagship model. It'd be for riders capable of handling something a step higher, those that felt that even the MT-09's torque wasn't enough and wanted more. The MT-10 sees a wide range of views, so its rideability was tuned while keeping all sorts of riding scenarios in mind. The new MT-10's design concept was the darkest diamond, and we wanted it to symbolically stand out as something different from everything else in the category. Oh, 
my god. We use the same methods as their bigger siblings, with the short wheelbase emphasizing an agile feel and keeping the front and rear as tightly packed as possible. With the right ability, sound, sensor pulse and more, MT series motorcycles really embody Yamaha's Jinki Kano philosophy. Created to offer riders a new and sporty motorcycling experience, the MT series stands as a uniquely Yamaha creation, embodying our Jinki Kano development philosophy, and its evolution remains far from finished. Bila kita terus rapatkan barisan Dan tetap terus bergandengan tangan Tentu kita semakin di depan Like